think it'd be pretty unnatural if someone didn't have stage fright. I think that's definitely something that helps you focus and helps keep you, you know, keep your mind in the game. And I think I think it's it's almost a, that's the bit of, a bit of the excitement as well. You know, it, it makes what you're doing special because not everyone can get up on stage and do that. And the reason not everyone can do it is because of something called stage fright. So for me to combat stage fright, the, the biggest thing is just to, I guess, to deal with it. You know, you can take, there, there are measures you can take to improve how you feel. Uh, rehearsing, rehearsing is massively, massively, massively important. You just, you cannot underestimate um, the importance of rehearsing. And then for me personally, I just try to remember that the the crowd are here to have a good time at, at a show, and as long as I'm enjoying myself and they can see me, that see me enjoying myself, um, they they're gonna pick up on that feeling as well. There's nothing worse than going to a show and a guy stands in the corner with the mic or in the middle of the stage, static with the mic in his hand, because he's so scared that he just can't move. And the crowd sees that and they pick up on that, and that just that's boring. And they, you know, so it's almost there's this compounded um, stage fright leads to a worse show which equals greater stage fright. So yeah, it's just about rehearsing, 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 rehearsing and getting up there and, and making sure that the, the crowd can see you having a good time. Something's always going to go wrong on stage. I think that's just inherent in this, in this industry. And you just got to learn to roll with that punch. So when stuff does go wrong, you need to acknowledge that something's gone wrong, and not make, not try not to make such a big deal about it. You know, you the, the crowd knows that you're human. The crowd knows that you're going to make mistakes, and if you accept your mistake, acknowledge the mistake, accept the mistake, and and move on, and maybe even make a joke out of it, maybe smile about it, laugh about it. The crowd is going to be a lot more accepting if they see you doing that because they. You know, in some ways they might even relate to you better because you are now, well, you are just human. So stuff is going to go wrong and rehearsing is a, is, a, is a good way to prepare for it, but you will never be able to prepare for every eventuality. That's just the way it is. So as long as you just, as long as you're able to pick yourself up with confidence and move forward, then that's the main thing. I try not to go through too much just before I go on stage. If I've got a gig in the evening, I'll probably go through my sets once in the morning. But then I like to leave it because it goes, it sort of goes back to the whole, you know, to the school days where the, our, our teachers would say to us, if you're trying to cram on the, on the morning, you haven't learned the stuff and you're not, you know, you, you don't know your stuff. So you need to have learned the stuff before then. And it's the same with, with knowing your lyrics. If you don't know that your lyrics by that morning, you're not going to know them by the evening. And one last minute cram is just going to make you panic more. So for me personally, I prefer to practice hard up until the night before the gig. Go through it once more on the morning and then relax, you know, enjoy it. You know, get excited, but with confidence because you're about to go up on stage and you're going to go entertain these people. You don't need to rehearse one more time. You don't need a cram. You should feel confident enough about yourself. So no, I don't like to go through it just before because I feel like that would be making the exercise maybe a little bit too stressful. You gotta get up there and have fun. I mean, in terms of a hip hop artist, it's about getting up and entertaining the crowd. The crowd comes first. They are your baby for the next half hour to an hour. But for me personally, it's about having fun. The crowd wants to see you having fun. When the crowd sees you enjoying yourself, they're gonna enjoy themselves. You know, there's, so you just need to get up there and, and, and enjoy every moment of that, of that performance that you have and cherish that, you know, that performance because it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an iconic moment, you know, that happens once, you know, no performance will, will, you know, no two performances will ever be alike. So it's, it's all about enjoying and making the most of it. So yeah, definitely the most important thing for me is, is it's about having fun.
Something I've always found super helpful to perform a show is just about getting your mind right. And a simple way to, a simple thing that I like to do is clean my shoes. Um, it's nothing major, but it's all about getting your mind prepared and, and ready and, and in the game, so to speak. So it's um, it's all about creating that focus and creating that that space that you want to be in just before the show.